Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And the theme of this episode is good drawings. Wow. wow. And, oh, and I the, went off brief again. And the setting no. of this episode is our apartment. Oh. I thought we were on YouTube. That, that too. Dang. We exist in a quantum state. Huh. In multiple places at once. The, this episode's about theme and setting. We got the suggestion from the Droppy Patreon Discord, which you can also join if you want to help us out, from Driscollis, who said, use this story theme slash setting generator as the inspo for a scene speed draw. Ooh. Whoa. So we, except for Karina. Yeah. I love drawing scenes so much that I skipped the speed draw and then demanded I still get to be in the episode because I like to feel involved. Yeah, Karina's here is just to be a cheerleader for the rest of our works. And because I like to see y'all's drawings. They're yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so we use this random generator. The link will be in the description from letsmakeagame.net. It's a story theme and setting generator. And it gave us a theme and a setting, and we had to do a drawing based on that. Nathan, you're up first. Ah! Woo! What was your theme and setting? My theme was downfall. <gasps> and my setting was prehistoric. Wow. It's perfect for Nathan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get started then. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So, I mean, there's there's a pretty obvious uh, downfall that happened in the prehistoric times. What happened? Mm. Uh, the, the dinosaurs. Yeah. They went extinct. What? No. But I go to the museum. They're, they're all there. Yeah. Yeah, but they're just bones. But, but they're not even bones. They're petrified bones. I thought that's just what they looked like. Yeah. That's no. not how they looked like? N well, no one knows for sure. Are you doing <laughs> studies? Yeah, I like your studies. Yeah, yeah. I did. So, so <laughs> I, we were so busy <laughs> clowning on you. You didn't acknowledge your cool studies. Yeah, I, did, I drew some I drew some T-Rex skulls. Because uh, I had this idea for like... Uh, this juxtaposition between a, a dead a dead dino and one of them one of them little mammals what survived the extinction and uh and and was our our distant relative. Like a horseshoe crab. Like a horseshoe crab, but mammal. So there's <laughs> I looked it up. There are a few mammal species that uh paleontologists believe uh, were around when the extinction event happened and lived through it. And one of them is called Purgatorius. Whoa. <gasps> wow. So that's that's what I tried to draw here, a little Purgatorius uh, looking on at a uh, as a T Rex. That's kind of badass. Sort of yeah. like a <laughs> Purgatorius. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna the, name my first son that. <laughs> it's a cool name. It's a cool <laughs> You should. I will. <laughs> Do you think the Purgatorius is looking up at the T-Rex like, I got you in the end, you joik. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the idea here that I was going for. That like, you know, in these these times of, of downfall, there are these uh the, these changes that happen. The these these entities that seem all powerful suddenly suddenly aren't anymore and uh and so that was sort of the the imagery i was i was and, going and this for this little rat ass gets to and this gets little to rat ass on. gets to yeah these yeah. little insignificant guys suddenly have a have a big big bright future um and so the, this piece involved a lot of uh it, you saw in the sketch phase but but even even here i i do a lot of paring it down uh, I was considering putting in more bones, and I've got this sort of uh, background mountain shape. Um, but eventually, I decide I just want the skull to be the sort of main silhouette that you're looking at mm. uh, in the piece. And so I do. I do a lot of color changing and stuff because. I wanted to get the vibe of like, you know, the the meteor hit a while ago, but the sky is still full of that that ash and soot. Yeah. Um and just trying to trying to capture that that energy of like everything sort of gray and bleak and the, you're surrounded by 
by death of all of these uh these giant creatures and then you just this little the only thing alive is this tiny little guy it's so like concept art yeah it's really cool like it makes me feel like you're you know it's like a plan for a bigger world yeah i, I guess it's our world it's our world but yeah i i, I think <laughs> look at that turned out yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I was I was having a lot of feelings around this time while I was working on it because Downfall is uh, unfortunately prescient uh, as are a the theme. The dinos back? What? Are the, di are the dinos back and then they're leaving? Are we talking about dinos? Yeah, we're talking about dinos. <laughs> oh, we're still talking about dinos. <laughs> talking about dinos. I mean, I'm I'm always thinking about dinos but I, I wanted to talk about dinos these old fossils of the year won't and go also away. <laughs> <laughs> these dang fossils they keep those coming fossils. back oh my god my god what do i gotta do to get rid of these guys you got so many of them uh, I'm using some of them, uh, them Jazza brushes that y'all got to play with. Oh, oh, oh yeah, nice. the Jazza set. So I didn't, I didn't get to this. This isn't a sponsored episode, but I just wanted to play around with them. So I'm using some of the charcoals, wow. the uh, the charcoal. Um, God, I don't even remember the name. It's like a, like a sort of like a a flat charcoal, <laughs> and then mm -hmm. also a more textured one. <laughs> Oh, and cool. then, and then also, he, he, he has like a, a rock texture. Oh yeah, that I used, and I end up getting rid of these ones and doing it again. I thought but those ones looked good. I thought they looked good too, but then I I overworked them. I'm like, oh, I, I lost the shape. So let me just try it again. Yeah. And then also the clouds in the background are also a, a brush. Wow. So yeah. Yeah, those look great. I Pretty love it. Good job, Jazza. So yeah, this was sort of an exercise in trying to to pare down my concept to just like the the simplest elements uh, to like get the the point across, and then just a lot of futzing around, messing with some new brushes, and trying to get this sort of dusty uh, downfally theme. And then I, I do some like diffuse lighting. Oh yeah, stuff. I Gives love that dusty look too. Yeah, like the dust is blowing off. Yeah, that's a really cool look. Yeah, and I try and find like sort of a little particle-y brush, <laughs> a little splatter to get some more stuff. And then I add in a little Ooh, bit of yeah, a little warmth. bit of red warmth. <gasps> yeah, because I figure there'd be some volcanic activity as well. And also just when the sun interacts with clouds, it can can make some some cool Ooh. oh yeah that's another brush a little what? lens flare let's go nice. i end up uh Good touch. i end up losing the little circles but i keep the the flare i'm like eh, it's, it's, nice. it's a yeah. well implemented lens flare yeah. Yeah. yeah it adds so much yeah it does it's, it worked really yeah, well actually like, there's a little point where you can the sun's low enough in the sky that you can catch it beneath all of like the the clouds of ash and, and soot and stuff. Wow. And there it is. That's my that's, that's my beautiful. piece. Oh. This is so cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, very this neat. Is fun. I love what a good storytelling scene. This yeah, is it really also is. how I look at the remains of my enemies. And you're just a little rat ass. Yeah. That's so true, bestie. <laughs> and that rat grew up to be Scrat. In the Ice Age movies. <laughs> wow, Scrat Origins. Until he gets crushed by a car. <laughs> no, that's Shrat. Oh, damn. <laughs> Shrat's different. You remembered Shrat and still forgot. Yeah. <laughs> True. So cool. Yeah, great job. Thank you. Yeah, I was really happy with how this one turned out. All right, I'm going to go next. Uh, my theme was Lovecraftian. And my setting, no, my setting was Lovecraftian. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. my theme was Face Your Fears, Whoa. <laughs> which I thought went really well together. Um, yeah. From the outset, I know H.P. Lovecraft, not the best yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, cosmic horror was like the direction I was approaching it from. Right. And uh, yeah, then Face Your Fears. So I'll jump right into it and explain what I was doing. Three, two, one. Go. 
Uh, it's overcoming of fear, clearly, and not face your fear. I put that in there so I'd <laughs> prove myself wrong in the episode. You got close enough. Um, so I thought of like sort of a maybe like, you know, um, Saturday morning cartoon, like Ben 10 vibe. Oh. Of like, oh. what if you have like these people, you live in a world where like these cosmic horror monsters are real and they make people go insane when they look at them because they're so horrifying and unthinkable. Mm -hmm. But what about the people that do look at them and manage to like hang on to their setting, to their Jesus, God, what about the people that look at them and hang on to their sanity, not their setting? Their, their sanity setting was on full. I'm not hanging on to my sanity. Or um, your setting. No. Maybe those people are able to then gain the powers of the creatures that they came into contact with. Ooh. So I immediately thought about three different characters um, that were based on different like Lovecraftian beasts. Um, one of them is like a demonic type with horns and, and a tail kind of based on like the night gaunt I think it's called is, is the creature um, and of course it's it's me so I had to make a you know non-binary androgynous yeah. character mm -hmm. um, then I wanted to do one that was based off like you know like the eyeballs type of cosmic horror monsters like the many seeing eyes uh, this middle one I end up changing actually this is my initial pose I like this pose. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked it okay, but then I had like a different direction I wanted to go. And I was I was finding like poses that I liked and adapting them. I like Ooh, this pose look too. Look at you, finding poses. Oh my gosh, the yeah. freaking movement on the, the jacket. Ooh, I yeah. love that. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. I will say that the first one was giving me I am no longer mentally ill vibes. <laughs> 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 well, maybe that's the case. You know, yeah. After they faced off with the night gone. <laughs> I'm okay, actually. Uh, and then for the third one, I wanted to go with like a Cthulhu type with like tentacles. Sort of like a Dr. Octopus meets oh. Cthulhu uh, look. Oh, well. And um, yeah, I wanted to to style this guy out and sort of like that, that or two uh, drip. Yeah. So he's going to have like, I literally went to Ortu's website and picked clothes. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, he's got like the star collar and the um, the like belted trousers, the baggy belted trousers. Mm -hmm. I do love those pants. I mostly just wanted to make three stylish, cool characters. Yeah. Um, you done it. And then combine them with Lovecraftian monsters. Cute. Because uh, I thought that was fun. And this one took me several days to do. I, I glossed over it at the beginning because I was trying to remember how to speak English. But it took me a couple days of like opening the file, drawing several poses, and then being like, no, and then closing the file. Okay. Before I finally started to like get it. Um, I also thought this middle character, I wanted to do like a, a female character with like a mask style. So that's this middle one. I don't have names for them. I was maybe we can work on that together. Commenters can come up with names if they want to. Yeah. But uh, then I guess I paused, and then the <laughs> sirens go off outside. <laughs> the sirens that say "keep drawing." Yeah, unpause. <laughs> unpause. It unpaused. Stop going, sirens. Yeah, shut shut up. up. Thank you. Oh <laughs> my god. Okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, All right, we're doing our best here. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> this um, is cool, Jacob. Yeah, this is yeah. cool. Thank you. I, I ended up liking all the characters a lot. I thought they were really cool yeah. designs. And I really like the concept of the world. Like anyone who can come face to face with one of these like nightmare creatures and come out alive gets gifted with, uh, with special powers. Yeah. yeah. And of course, whenever people get special powers, some people are going to use it for bad. And that's where you get your villains from in this story, not depicted here. These are all good. These are all heroes. These are our, our trio of heroes here. Oh. These are friends. Yeah. Uh, so mostly inking here. I'm, I'm using the, the good pen this time. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it's literally called good pen. We always say this. <laughs> yeah, you, we're saying it again, apparently. If you use Clip Studio, then you can search good pen in the asset store to find it. It's free. And uh, yeah. one, one of my favorites for sure. Or you can just do what everyone else does and comment down below saying, oh, what's the good pen? What's the good pen? I, I can't find good it. pen. What is it? It's 
engagement. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And naturally, I went for some uh, color coding here. We got the red, blue, and green. Of course. Hell yeah. It's because it's a Saturday morning cartoon vibe. You yeah. Know? You gotta have like the characters that have specific colors they're associated with. Like the Power Rangers. Yeah, this is very good. Yeah, it do. Where it put my brain is like, uh, for lack of a better term, magical girl esque. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they they could like transform, yeah. you know, like, yeah. <laughs> like the middle character, like she puts on the blindfold and the third eye opens and. I did like denote certain pieces of each character in this like bright yellowish green uh -huh. as like maybe their magical items. So maybe oh. it's his piercings on the right, uh, the third eye in the middle and the dagger on the left. Sure. Um, so that could be part of the lore too. Ooh. This is like if Gravity Falls had heroes in it. Like no heroes in heroes. Gravity Falls. <laughs> Other than the two kids yeah, or three yeah. kids, three or four kids. Uh, then I added some... Um, fun rim lighting in the same color i do mm -hmm. love that yeah just to make things pop a bit yeah and, uh, them a little bit my favorite thing to do is add rim lighting that doesn't make any sense yeah like, yeah you, you can't get rim lighting on the inner shirt of that middle person because it's covered by the jacket but who cares that's yep. our right as artists yeah, yeah. that's art <laughs> you can put rim lighting wherever Ooh. you want it always looks cool yeah it does. That's true. It's not for lighting. It's for looking cool. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Arrest me? You can't. <laughs> I'm too fast. Yeah. I've faced my fears and now I have tentacles. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <laughs> now I'm just doing some uh, levels adjustments to make the brights really pop a bit more. The make colors good. The make colors good button. And that's the end. Woo! Nice. That's so good. I that's love, awesome. I, I have, love these guys. I want to watch this show. Yeah, can you I know. make this show? Can you make the show? Yeah, I think Jacob? I should probably go make the show. So I'll be leaving Droppy for a while. Thank you. Um, several years, probably. Oh, I was thinking like a couple of days, but yeah. Uh, you but can you do it faster? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Shows I'll, can't take that long. I'll yeah. go quick and I'll make this show. Guess Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> Spencer, can you help me Spencer, make this help show? help us make this show. Thank you. <laughs> if you could do most of it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that would be good, actually. I have some other things I need to do. Our He's going to get your done. ass <laughs> once he sees this. <laughs> uh, but, but do let me know in the comments what these characters' names should be, because I didn't come up with any, but they definitely need names. Yes. They definitely have names. They have names and they need names, and I want to see fan art as well. As yes. always, <laughs> please. Thanks. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Julia, you are the last one today. Yes. What was your theme and setting? Mine was uh, Western. Ooh. And I believe it was Serial Killer. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was. Okay. Yeah. I it was, it I was believe a wild you. one. Yeah, I believe you. A Wild West. Yes. So let's, <laughs> so let's start it. Okie dokie. Three, two, one, go. So I already, I had sketched it out because I was in a panic trying to get this done because uh, I, I, I'm i a little busy uh, uh, past couple of weeks. You should have just not done it. That's what I did. <laughs> could have been me and Nathan hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job. <laughs> but I wanted to do like a, like a poster for it or like an... Um, just like something concept. I'm trying to get back into like my love of doing concepts for uh, like concept illustrations for a thing. Yeah. yeah. So I did. Uh, I went so Western. We went to Vegas. <laughs> the most West. <laughs> the most West. Because California somehow goes back around. But um, yeah, I wanted to do a bunch of cool uh, Vegas signages, si signs. Yeah, yeah. Those neon signs, which are very cool and very fun, and and they're just absolutely beautiful and unique. Yeah. Um. So I tried to fill up most of the canvas with these signs. I love the variation in shapes and colors thanks and i was everything. looking up i was looking up references and and they get kind of wild and it's very yeah. it's very cool Ooh. and very fun and the way they're layered on top of each other it like it feels full but not crowded yeah i wanted it to be like when you look down 
one of those like busy streets and everyone has like a sign that's trying to outdo each other. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is me. I'm also still trying to get the hang of Clip Studio. It takes time. Because I only ever use it for the speed draws. But uh, I was using their some of their built in oh. uh, <laughs> Some of the built in brushes. <laughs> we both got so excited about piss. <laughs> really funny. We <laughs> just written piss <laughs> in the middle of this good drawing. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> we went from piss to pistol. <laughs> <laughs> One brain cell. <laughs> yeah. And it's not over there with the guys. They <laughs> <laughs> got so excited about piss. <laughs> really good, really good hand lettering. Yeah. <laughs> just right piss. <laughs> it's just so funny. Uh, sorry. That's okay. So I'm trying to make these feel a little more three-dimensional and not just like slapped on together shapes. Um, uh, but the way I want to convey uh, Serial Killer is that for these signs of people, they're not going to be lit up like all the other signs are. Like they've been killed? Yeah. Like oh, they've been dimmed a little they, bit. They are oh. past. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't love it. <laughs> so I redid it. Wait, wait so it's gone. I, Julia. I got rid of it. Julia. There you go. And I started again. Delete Wait. Your heart. Wait. It's and I time. Got a, I, got, I got a new concept. Uh-huh. Which is <laughs> <laughs> which is descent into madness and still western. Oh. oh. So you, you fully just okay. I fully yeah. restarted. You just did Don't two. just delete your art. Delete your concept. Yeah. Yeah. Delete just your start concept, delete over. your art. Entirely. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy your delete concept. Well, I was in such like a frantic state, and also like I haven't this is been also really clearly. good. <laughs> I haven't been like loving art oh my God. for a while, so like I'm I'm like frantically trying to claw back, which you know is the worst way to get back into art is uh, in a frenzy. I mean, um, it, it's it's kind of working for you though. Thanks. <laughs> so I couldn't like decide. I like really wanted to draw something that was like cool and evocative, and then I wasn't feeling that for the neon sign one. So I was like, let me just go for like moody on the next one because moody is like one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. So I'm working on that. Um, I wanted to really just draw like. Uh, the inside of a saloon, but a, a, a kind of impossible space. I didn't it's love gone. it, so I started it's again. It's gone oh, again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is so this is my third one. This is performance art, and the yeah. Yeah. descent into madness. This is the descent into madness. <laughs> Ooh! Turns out the descent into madness was just the artistic process for you, yeah. wasn't it? It's uh, yeah. Julia, so, both of your pieces before this were so good. <laughs> So this is my third. This is my my final piece. Okay. I will say. Okay. I I, I, I do just want to add you. that I loved the angle on the second one. I oh, thank you. I I liked it too. I think yeah. I'll go back in and like when I have more time, I'll add detail to actually make it work. But I didn't have a lot of time. Yeah. Despite my doing this three times, I, ultimately I think all of these uh, all together, I spent about three hours doing these. Classic. Of course. So I, I just had a hunch you would delete the <laughs> second one. So I just wanted to yeah. point that out. I love that angle. Thank you. It would make a wonderful piece if if you find the time to flesh it out I to your liking. Yeah. I definitely want to go back in and work it so that it, it feels a little better. But yeah. it wasn't it wasn't working out exactly how I wanted because I was trying to work pretty quickly. But uh, so for this one, it's still the same concept as the second one because I do like the second one. I thought it was fun. Um, so I'm just trying to go for sort of like a, a a big old mood on this one of just a a cowboy rancher sort of dude uh, being weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud, could you not? You're being real weird right now. Couldn't help but notice you're being weird. <laughs> Look, I've been here before. Kind of cringe. This is how my roommate looked at me when I was trying to 
bring a bookshelf upstairs by myself by <laughs> pushing <P-O-P>. it because <laughs> I didn't want to wake him up up the saloon stairs and there's this guy <laughs> and then he woke up anyway because I made so much noise trying to push it upstairs and then he looked at me just like this I love your ability to draw stairs it's so cool <laughs> is, that a, is that a weird thing to say no, stairs are hard, and yeah. Julia does it really well. Yeah, the yeah. stairs for the for the second one, um, I use there's a um, a zigzag brush, and if you go at a very specific angle, it draws like the side of the stairs. So if you're oh, silhouetting some stairs in, that's a I just kind of went across. That's and smart. Filled it in. I'm gonna re- try to remember that with my brain. It Works was nice. smarter, not harder. Yeah. Um. But here's where I landed on the third one. Yeah. Ooh. This is where I, this is where my descent into madness culminated. <laughs> and then I decided I just had to stop. And then you just passed out. Yeah, <laughs> basically. And you woke up recording this episode. Yeah. I'm here now. I, wow. I love where am I? That you included your other pieces and you, you basically finished both of them also. Like you yeah. got to basically done with both of them before you were like, I actually want to do something else. <laughs> Well, sometimes you got to see a piece through because all pieces go through the ugly stage. And then yeah. when you go past the ugly stage and sometimes you're like, oh, actually, this piece like came together in the end. Yeah. I try to always push through towards the end because then you always learn something. It's very impressive. Like no matter what, you're going to learn something. Yeah. I mean. But then they, I just didn't like them. They were all good. Thank you. I want to say, Julia, because I know some, this is something you've been working on mm-hmm. is having more like. Uh, like energy in your pieces. Yeah. I feel like all three of these have like such a chaotic, cool, <laughs> like I know it's probably your mental state when you were doing it. <laughs> Frantic. But they have like a lot of energy to like the lines yeah. and the, and like a, a sloppiness in an artistic way that normally you like struggle with. Yeah, I do. I feel like you really hit that like cool, chaotic vibe with like the energy of these that makes them really evocative. Well, thank yeah. you. It's, um, I, I discovered the post-correction setting on brushes, and it's allowed me to hit a happy medium on drawing something chaotic, but still having very straight lines. Because if you want to draw a straight line, you put the post-correction on 100 for that brush, and you just draw a line willy-nilly, and it'll make it straight. So you can have something that still looks very clean, but isn't like a measured out, perfectly calculated perspective. Yeah, yeah. Like for these stairs, that's how I did these stairs for yeah the most part. like i Very wanted cool. to say this before some people started saying piss a lot <laughs> but it is it is very cool to that. see you like working in a different program because i think it gives you fresh ideas and yeah. and it's it makes your work exciting to see thank you yeah i agree not that it wasn't before just that's just part of the process, I mean. Yeah. So I like I like that you've been trying out a new program because then it's cool to see your process in doing that. Thank you. I thought it was cool to see all three of these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so did I. And uh, I'm glad I didn't do one because it was nice to just watch you all do yeah, it. Just get to see <laughs> art. It's fun it's to just watch, yeah. right? Yeah, I wasn't yeah. stressed and <laughs> I got to see such cool things. Yeah. If you have ideas for other speed draw type episodes like this you'd like to see us do, let us know in the comments or in the Patreon Discord which you can join if you join the Patreon at any tier. We also stream on Twitch once a week on Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we got a merch store with a bunch of merch in it. Links in the description. The themes of those places are support us. And the setting is the internet. (laughs) It is please. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We're sorry. Sorry. Theme. Sorry. Sorry. Piss. Stop.